Hello Betty, how are you? Hello John, I am glad to see you today. I am in the market to buy a new laptop but I feel a little intimidated when I talk to a salesperson about the criteria to choose a laptop. Especially when it comes to computer processor. Sure, I can help you. What would you like to learn? Well, let's start with the basics and you can build your way up. So, what is a processor? Think of a processor as a human brain. A processor is the ultimate piece of hardware inside your computer. It controls all interactions and tells your computer which tasks to perform. As well as help prioritize those tasks based on your needs or on few of them simultaneously, multitasking. So how do you measure the processor speed? The speed of your processor is measured in megahertz or gigahertz also called clock speed 1 gigahertz equals 1000 megahertz or 1 billion cycles per second. So, the higher the clock speed, the faster the processor, right? True, the higher the number the faster is your computer. So far so good. Also, what is term cache means? Think of cache as your memory while you are multitasking. The stronger your memory the more tasks you can put in queue to retrieve subsequently for processing. So the cache speed is measured in megahertz also? No, processor cache is measured in megabytes. The more megabytes your processor contain the faster it will be able to multitask. Excellent, now, can you talk to me about dual core and quad core processors? Sure. Think of dual core as the different brains running in parallel reading and executing program instructions at the same time. The more cores you have within your processing unit the more responsive a and flawless your computer will be. Oh okay, now I can buy a quad core processor and it will solve all my needs. Right? You may now think that purchasing quad core might be the ultimate solution that's not necessarily true because certain programs are not designed to run in. Quad core environment therefore may not reap all the benefits, but that's not necessarily true. Certain programs may run even faster in a two quad processor than quad core. Because they are not designed to run in higher than two cores. Now, how can I narrow down my processor options? The first question to ask yourself when selecting the processor is how will you use a computer and then decide the ideal match for your needs. Option 1, for basic tasks such as internet browsing, news, blog etc, watching YouTube clips, instant messaging and basic gaming. Choose a dual core processor approximately 1 to 2 GHz clock speed, 3.0 MB cache. Option 2. For light multitasking such as switching between programs, creating and sharing documents, MS Office, sharing photos and social networking. Choose a dual core or triple core processor with a 2 GHz or higher clock speed and 4.0 MB cache. Option 3. For intense multitasking such as running a lot of applications simultaneously, performing video and photo editing while working on something else or playing 3D games. Then choose a strong quad-core processor and clock speed of 2.50 GHz and 6 MB or 8 MB cache. Visit electronicspass.com to learn more.